So just a little quick, a little bit of insight and info on the on the buoyancy and the foam in the in the fusion. Some of the questions we've had asked are like, it doesn't have built-in foam or built-in flotation. So as mentioned before, the the way we construct the kayak, the foam that we put on the inside of the, which you can see a video on, we already have, but the foam that we put on the inside of the plastic, right, that is actually your buoyancy. I will mention it how we how we calculate it, but. That layer of foam, not only does it obviously make the kayak a little bit stiffer and, and obviously allows us to make the kayak lighter, but it acts as your built-in buoyancy. So that, that I will, I'll mention to you now how we do it, but you can see it in the, in the shoulder how we use it. And if you look on the inside of the kayak, the whole of the inside of the kayak is lined with that foam. Top, the top, the hull, sorry, the, the hull, the deck, everything is lined with this foam throughout the whole kayak. So that's how we create the, the buoyancy layer throughout the kayak. What we have added to the kayak as well, is a very simple fiberglass partition. It actually has no purpose other than to stop your, your goods or your items ro from rolling from the front of the kayak into the back. So we just slot that in. It's not sealed. It's not supposed to be sealed. It has a few gaps around it. Like I said, this is just a partition to stop all your, your sinkers or maybe some bait or something that you, that you leave in the, in the, in the hatch uh, from rolling to the back. So because it, the whole hatch is the internal of the kayak, we needed to just create a little partition. So that's a simple partition. So as mentioned, when you create the buoyancy of a kayak, um, we have to have a minimum of 30%, 33% of built-in buoyancy provided in the kayak. So that's in calculation 33% of the kayak itself. So, as you mentioned, the integrated foam, which is molded in into the polyethylene aero foam, creates a foam skin on the inside of the vessel. The aero foam has a closed cell structure, okay, and it does not degrade from exposure to water. So it's not going to absorb water. It's not going to get heavier. So the water doesn't affect the foam itself. It is a sealed layer. And it has an average density of about 0.3 grams per cubic centimeter. So the volume of the integrated foam is conservati cal conservatively calculated using an average foam thickness of five millimeters. So as you saw in the green piece that I showed you there, you can see the foam is, is over five millimeters thick throughout the kayak. So we're being very conservative here. And that allows us to take this foam through the hull of the kayak and create what we would call the integrated foam volume. And uh, what I'll do is I will share um, a, 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 an official buoyancy certificate on the kayak with everything calculated so that you can see.